Welcome to the Cryptonomatron. Today it's another token to watch and I've picked Dovu. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Anyway, what is it? If you're not aware, it is a circular economy for the transport and mobility sector. And they're going to do this by creating an unprecedented value exchange between regu regular consumers and those that benefit from their data. So essentially, they're going to have an ecosystem that allows consumers to share their data with other bodies. And um, that won't only be people that are driving or traveling or walking. That will also include uh, traffic light services, weather reports, everything. So what is the vision of Dovu? They are shaping the crypto model for the mobility ecosystem introducing a transport focused protocol to accelerate the development of mobility related decentralized applications or dapps the dov token powers new business models in the transportation sector so they have some problems that they want to solve and they outlined them in the white paper and they are they believe that fluid mobility is burdened by market inefficiency inefficiencies and fiat currency limitations which is obviously true they believe there is no reward mechanism for an individual to contribute value back into the ecosystem. So if you're sharing your data, there's no value for you, but there is value for the companies that profit off it. There's also still paperwork for insurance and other uh, tax and other uh, uh, such uh, tasks. You also don't control your own driving data. Once you've submitted it, it belongs to somebody else and they profit off it. So their aims are to introduce the blockchain technology to control this. They want to decentralize for a true sharing economy, meaning you will get rewarded for data sharing. And they want to work towards a fluid movement of goods and people in the real world using the system. So as we can see, this is the Dovu ecosystem. Um, we can see the consumer. And then the Dovu protocol will be built on top of the Ethereum blockchain, which will then handle the transfer of data. And this will be rewarded and um, facilitated by the Dovu token. You can see there a connected vehicle, say an electric vehicle, that will transmit the data and um, the marketplace and any future dApps that people decide to build on top of that. So quite a simple, simplified model even there. So to break it down, the ecosystem will consist of the Dovu protocol, which will be detailing data interchange and attribu attribution of value. The DOV token for payment within the platform itself. And then the Dovu API marketplace, which will be the first decentralized app developed by Dovu. So I wanted to mention that there are backers behind this project and You'd probably want to know who they are before investing in it. So Dovu is well connected in the transport sector. In April 2017, Dovu received seed funding from InMotion Ventures, who are the Jaguar Land Rover's investment arm, and Creative England, who are a fund backed by the UK government. Now, it's quite important to understand this because we want to know that they've already got quite solid support. Through its network of advisors, Dovu has access to the relevant professional industry networks and it's well positioned to build lasting consumer relationships. Now, I, um, I believe this because I've had a look at the team and they're very strong in, in their fields and it's all relevant to what Dovu are trying to achieve. So let's discuss about the Dovu protocol. What exactly are they planning to do with this? Well, the Dovu protocol empowers data owners to control and earn from the data they share. The data providers, those that create the APIs to resell the data, they can define smart contracts to set the conditions of use and the level of rewards they want to give the uh, data owners. So it will be an open source software. It will encourage greater sharing of data among people in the transport industry. It also puts control back into the hands of the data owners themselves rather than the big companies that accumulate the data and profit from it. And it will automatically ban and suspend for breaching of the terms of the, uh, the system. So it will utilize well-established cryptography standards to achieve this. It will offer an authentication API and smart contracts management protocol. 
It will include a wallet so you can transfer your Dovu tokens. And it's built on top of the Ethereum blockchain, as I've already mentioned. So the Dovu API marketplace, it will provide providers with the tools to list and sell data to the consumers. So you'll be able to create your own apps that sell data back into the ecosystem. And developers can contribute to API, smart contract and app developments and be rewarded as well in the tokens. So the last look is at the DOV token and I've noticed on CoinMarketCap it is actually the DOVU token, but it's only listed on a single exchange at the moment on Ether Delta. So that's probably why. The total supply of the tokens will be 1.2 billion. The current circulating supply is 33 billion 373,523, so very low circulating supply. The current price as of today, when I just checked, was 9 cents. And the market cap is tiny at 3.2 million. The all-time high price for the token was a few days after the ICO launch quite recently at 32 cents. So here's the roadmap. <clears throat> In quarter four, 2017, MVP of Dovu Marketplace feature complete. End-to-end -end process for consuming and sharing APIs ready for onboarding and sharing new APIs at volume. Quarter one, 2018, there will be initial integration with the Dovu platform, including billing and analytics tied to the DOV token. Quarter two, 2018, there will be a public beta of the Dovu API marketplace, which you can then start to build your own dApps upon. The quarter three, 2018, there will be a private alpha of the Dovu protocol. And then in quarter four, 2018, the beta will be closed and there will be a dual public launch of both the protocol, the token, and AP Marketplace. So by quarter four, 2018, they intend to have everything up and running. So what are my thoughts on Dovu? Well, while I was going through the white, uh, white paper on the website, I noticed they have a very strong team of professionals. As I mentioned before, they're all involved in um, the industry, whether that be as entrepreneurs or transport professionals and such and such like. They all seem to have very, very strong backgrounds. Um, let me just uh, see who is on the team. Just give me a second. Okay, so the, the core team it consists of uh, the founder, Irfan Watkins, and he's a serial entrepreneur. He's founded and sold companies all across the API spectrum. He was CEO of Cool, that's C-O-U-L-L, -L, which was a programmatic video advertising company process, processing over 15 billion requests a month worldwide. So he's uh, got good experience. Arwen um, Smith is the co-founder and he was working at a, um, as an entrepreneur as well at InMotion, the accelerator of Jaguar Land Rover. They have good legal counsel, I see. They have um, good programming specialist, Alec Morris, who's a multidiscipline product designer and UX specialist with 20 years of experience. Tom Holder, you know, working in software development since 1998. Uh, James Guest, head of the blockchain production, is experienced and he's been working in digital production for over 20 years in mobile apps and web technologies, etc. And they are advised by a few um, interesting people. Lars Klaviter, who was general manager at Rolls-Royce and uh, former board of uh, directors at Ethereum. Rob Jones, who was the co-founder of FanDuel, which is um, the world's largest one-day fantasy sports site worth, worth over a billion dollars, so that's interesting. There's also Andrew Hodgson. He's a partner at KPMG Corporate Finance. He has... Um, over 10 years of experience in audits and transactions and has uh, undertaken a number of industry secondments, uh, buyouts if you like. You can all check these people on LinkedIn if you want. And David Drake, who's the founder and chairman of LDJ Capital, and he has uh, 50 plus global directors in um, uh, relations with institutions and family offices with over $1.5 trillion in assets. So quite impressive. Um, quite impressive CVs on a lot of them. Now they have strong investment and partnership support as we mentioned before. They have um, 
they have support with uh, KPMG as accounting advisors, Ramparts are the legal advisors and blockchain advisors are token market. They have um, already some investors in Motion Ventures, the investment arm of Jaguar Land Rover and Creative England, who are the uh, government-backed fund uh, in the United Kingdom. They also have quite a low circulating supply of just over 33 million, which I believe is a good time to get in. It's got very good potential for growth, very, uh, very low market cap at $3 million. So potential to grow here is huge. And the tokens are still at close to or under the ICO price, at around 10 cents. This is an absolute bargain. It's potential to soar to 10 times, maybe even 50 times in the near future is um, it really, it really is realizable. So uh, I'm quite excited about this one. I like to do some uh, micro micro cap pickups on um, Ether Delta before they hit the bigger exchanges because you know the potential for growth will be uh, larger than if they're already on Binance or Bitrex and they're already in the public eye. So um, when projects come off ICO, I like to see how well they're doing. And this one um, hasn't really done well coming off ICO, probably because it's quite a complex and technical program. It doesn't appeal to many people and it went under many people's radar. Uh, so it's quite a good time to get into it now because it has big potential for the future. And with six months to product germination before they launch their beta, you may have to hang on to, to get true value from this um, to realize it's, it's true value, but eventually it will certainly grow in value. And electric vehicles are going to be ubiquitous in 10 years. And this is this ecosystem that they're designing is going to be used um, alongside electric vehicles to um if you know to to make the use of transport and mobility more efficient and so there is a very big potential here for for dovu to grow um, and such you know some uh, countries are now going to ban petrol vehicles the um, electric vehicles data will have to be controlled i believe there's something like um, 25 gig of data for each vehicle that will be on the roads will be being shared and the consumer wants to benefit from that. So there is a big, big potential for this. So to sum it up without getting into the technical aspects too much, my verdict for this is it is incredible value at the moment, but it is a long-term hold. So it's one that you might want to add to your portfolio. I'm going to give it five stars because I've picked some up off um, Ether Delta a couple of days ago and I'm continuing to add to my stack. But this one I intend to keep for a long time. So if you find this video of benefit, please like, subscribe, join the channel. Tell me what you want me to do. You want me to uh, do a review of a ICO or a token that you want to keep your eye on. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And as usual, uh, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, you manage your own money. You're responsible for your own decisions. You're big boys out there. So uh, <laughs> good luck and uh, happy investing.